Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today. First trade is going to be mRNA. Now mRNA is up 5%. That's very, very important because when stock is up that much, it means a lot of people are watching it. Now take a look at this nice intraday reversal. I'm about to click the button and go long 4,000 shares. It's reversing right now. It looks like it may take the highs really soon. Clicking the button now and I'm long 4,000 shares. Now the whole idea of a trade like mRNA is a gap and go trade. It started with a gap up of 5%. I'm fast forwarding it. As you can see right now, it just moved over the highs. And that's why you expect it to continue. I'm about to take my partial. It's getting close to the point where I would like to uh, cover 3,600 shares. I'm about to click the button. It's getting there. And here we go at my target. Just took my partial. Now, when you trade a stock like mRNA, you know everybody's watching it, not just day traders, investors as well. Now you have to take a look at the daily, you will see that it just moved to a new highs. I mean, two days ago, but it still has the momentum and people are watching it and investors love to invest in stocks, especially like mRNA, you know, coronavirus is not over yet. So uh, you're getting some help backwind, not only from the day traders, which are really just a small part of the industry, but also from the long term investors. That's why when you click the button, a nice intraday reversal, you're getting more help and more likely to succeed. If you like this video so far, how about giving us a thumb up? It helps more people like you find this channel and more people like you learn a little bit more about day trading. Now let's get to my next trades. Next trade, FGEN. Now this one's down more than 40%. And again, it means a lot of people are watching it. Not just the volume, over 2 million shares. Normally it doesn't have much volume. I'm about to show 12,000 shares because I believe in the fact that it's going to be a gap and go. Clicking the button right here. Well, it spiked down as you can see. I got it at 14.08. I was really expecting to get it at 14.30. And that's why I'm going a little bit through hard time here. As you can see, I'm down like six grain right now, but I do trust the trend. The stock is down a lot and is expected to be a gap and go and a continuation. Now, as you can see, it is getting back to the lows and I'm, I'm intending to add a little bit more under the whole number 14. Whole numbers are very important. Just came under, clicking the button, and I'm short another 8,000 shares. So I'm taking a big risk here. It's not a huge mover, 50, 60 cents or so, but I am taking quite a big risk because of my quantity. Now, I do trust the trend. I trust the fact that it's down more than 40%, therefore very, very likely to be under some pressure. And again, it's a gap and go, the same idea like mRNA. I'm up like seven grand right now. I'm getting ready to the point where I take my partial just reached my target clicking the button and leaving 1000 shares for the longer game you always want to leave a little bit more because you know i do work with a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio which means if i'm risking like 50 or 60 cents i'm trying to get the same thing and um, but i do leave some more because it's likely to continue so just left 1000 shares and hoping for a bigger move in fgn and again remember it's the same idea like mrna it's a gap and go because it started with a big gap down mrna was five percent this one's 40 percent it's quite rare but when you have a stock down that much you expect expect fear you expect people to sell you expect it to continue the move and it did i've got another winner well you remember mrna i'm about to have a second trade in mrna and that's why because it pulled back from the highs you don't buy the highs you buy after a pullback so i'm about to add another 2000 share i already i have 400 shares which i left at my previous trade now I click that button and i'm long 2000 shares more now i am expecting a reversal as you can see this reversal right over here is uh, during an uptrend and uh, mrna is again very very strong today they looks great and i expect some continuation and as you can see after a small pullback it uh, does continue uh, for a new high it just moved to a new high and i'm getting ready to take my partial about to click the button and again left 400 shares so i just reduced my size again with the same quantity that i added earlier 2000 shares and got a second partial a second nice trade in mrna now if I thought it's, it was about to go well, if I had the idea that it's a nice reversal and I was right, of course, why did I only add 2,000 shares? I mean, originally I added, I traded it with 4,000 shares. Well, there's a very important rule here, which I believe you should follow. When you have a first good trade, like in mRNA, my first trade in mRNA, you do not risk the money you already made. 
when there's, mo- when there's money in your pocket, you never ever take it out. It's a very important tool. So if you want to have a second trade in a stock that you already gained in, take a smaller size. That means you can lose, but you never pay everything you earned. Leave some money in your pocket. So a second trade is always more dangerous than the, than the first one. I had several reasons to go for the first one and I had some good reasons to go for the second. But am I taking the second trade just because I love it, because I think like I'm invincible or because I think I already kind of know mRNA? You know, that's a very dangerous feeling. You make money in a stock and you tend to believe in yourself a little bit too much. And that's that draws you in taking a second or a third or a fourth trade. Did you start, did did it happen to you that you started out with a fantastic great trade and finished the red the day in red? That's exactly what happens when you take a second trade with the same quantity or even more than you did with your first trade. Just think about it. Did it happen to you? Share it right here in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about this because there's plenty of rules which uh, I think you should know while you're taking a second trade. Now, of course, I wish I had more size now, but you know, the second trade normally is not as good as the first one. This one worked out fine. I want to thank you again for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumb up. And there's plenty of links right here below this video, which you can enjoy free 14 day trial in our training room and many more. And if you want to subscribe, there's a subscribe button right here and click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And again, thank you very much for watching this and I'll see you in my next videos.